Hello, Deanna here, Intuitive D1111. Welcome to our Dar Diamond Star Seed family, y'all. Thank you for being here. Y'all, I don't know. I shuffled the cards and I put them out. And uh, I just don't feel like you're the one heartbroken right now. Some of y'all might be. But what I'm seeing here is we got... <clears throat> If I can't have you, no one can with an angry face. <laughs> so, y'all, I don't know who this is. This could be your person. This could be your person's karmic. Your person's karmic's karmic. I don't know. But we about to get into this thing. If you want to win a free weekly reading, the winners for last week are going to be in my community tab. If you didn't see my previous videos, um, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, like a recent video, leave me a comment, okay? And I will be announcing winners. Now, what I'm seeing here is, number one, the kids left the door open. So there's a fly, coño, up in here. Somebody is being bugged by a karmic, period. One eleven on the timer. Somebody is heartbroken over a karmic or they're heartbroken over somebody. With the three of swords and the justice card... <laughs> Hey, listen, this deck, y'all. Oh, my gosh. But, you know, hey, at least she got some shape to her, so we'll keep her out. The Three of Swords and the Justice card in reverse. I feel like somebody feels betrayed in this energy, okay? I feel like somebody here is realizing the truth about a karmic third-party situation, okay? I'm clairaudient. I can hear and read people's thoughts. And I'm hearing, like, somebody doesn't, like, someone's like, damn, they don't want to touch me. Like, so, someone's karmic, y'all, is upset because your person doesn't want to touch them, okay? Um, damn. I don't even know what to say about that, <laughs> okay? But... I feel like there was some type of injustice that was done here. That's what I'm seeing. Some type of injustice that was done here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Libra energy, okay? And um, somebody made a bad judgment call, okay? Or some someone could be finding out somebody is in jail. They're going to jail. The justice card in reverse is they did the crimes and they're not going to be out on bail. Damn. I don't know what that's about. So with the star card here, I feel like if you guys were heartbroken in the past, I feel like you're healing, okay? This star card is absolutely beautiful. I love this um, because, it, you know, what I love about this card right here is that it's like she's praying, okay? She's praying. Um, it's like she's half her body is immersed in water, but at the same time, you know, she's not letting her emotions overtake her. I also see this as you guys being very nourishing, okay? Um, there's something about the fact that, like I say, you guys are diamond star seeds, okay? You're not from here, okay? A lot of you have roots to, um, damn, I don't know. I heard Aztec roots, okay? Ancient Egypt is here, okay? Old, old towns of Jerusalem is here. I mean, some of y'all have some real ancient souls, okay? And I feel like, your, you know, your prayers are important. That's why I was asking you guys to pray, you know, for Israel and Palestine. Because, you know, there's power in prayer. You know, it does say when two or more are gathered in his name, then he's there in the midst. Um, you know, that's a side note. But anyways, what I see here is that, you know, you guys have been focusing on your own self. You've been focusing on balancing your emotions. You've been focusing on healing. I feel like, you know, you guys are realizing that, you know, your purpose here is so much more than, you know, what maybe you even expected for yourself. Okay. I feel like, you know, a lot of you are very humble. Um, so I feel like, you know, maybe you don't uh, put as much regard on just how much of a light you are does that make sense because i feel like you've had different energies around you either trying to silence you or trying to um you know make you insecure or dim your shine or make you feel like you're not good enough you know nobody is perfect okay but it's about you guys you know being proud of yourself that you're doing the inner work that you're healing and that you're trying to make a difference not just in your life but in other people's lives 444 on the timer that's for somebody right there so the four of swords reverse yeah baby somebody want to come back around to you they are restless with the four of swords reverse okay 
They want to come back around. I'm hearing they want to speak their truth. Okay. They're hoping that you're going to listen. Okay. Yeah. They, <laughs> they want to come back around to an earth angel. That's what they want to do. Okay. We got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius again. Someone's been heavily thinking about this within their mind about how they can give you this offer. Okay. For some of you guys, if you've been praying for some type of abundance, I do feel like it is coming in. Um, and what I do see here is that someone, I mean, they're starting to see the truth about you and the truth about whoever the heck they've been dealing with. I was going to say sleeping with, but for some of y'all, they not even sleeping with the karmic third party or the karmic third party is not sleeping with them. Okay. And that's what I'm picking up here. So for some of you guys, this is a new job here. This is a new opportunity. Um, I just really see that you guys are being celebrated. You know, some of you guys just don't take time to celebrate your milestones. And I really feel like it's important for you to do that, you know, because you guys are amazing. You know what I'm saying? You have amazing energy. And what I'm seeing here is that somebody fumbled an earth angel. That's what I'm seeing. They fumbled an earth angel. Maybe they were uh, invested somewhere else or, you know, maybe they were uh, tempted by money or tempted by lust or, you know, we have she or he was just a good time. I don't care about them. Yeah, they didn't. They don't care about them, but they show been spending time with them. Okay. You know, they show could have gotten a relationship with them. You, you see what I'm saying? Uh, uh. So now somebody is wondering, how could I hurt someone so beautiful or handsome? It's like somebody is heavily reflected on you. They're reflecting on your connection. They're realizing that you're amazing inside and out. This is somebody that wants to, uh, they want to reconcile with you. For some of you, it's not just lovers. It could be, you know, past friends, family members, you know, coworkers, whatever it is here. <sighs> I feel like somebody tried to put an end to your self-esteem. Someone tried to make you feel insecure. Someone tried to make you feel like you were insignificant. Okay, some of you, they really tried to take you out here. Okay, and now they're facing negative karma because of that. Okay, because I feel like you went into a situation with great intentions and, you know, somebody broke your heart. And now they over here broken heart over a karmic or a karmic is broken hearted over them because they leaving them so you just take it how it resonates for your situation but with the four cups in reverse here it's like somebody is realizing that they missed an opportunity with you and that's why they over here talking about if i can't have you no one can because somebody is like listen they done put you through hell okay you really had to persevere through a lot of things that you've never even told anybody about I feel like people look at you guys and they feel like, you know, you're very put together. You have this amazing healing energy. You know, people are drawn to you. Even the bugs are drawn to you. Okay. I say that because from, you know, the fire ants in Texas, like I don't, I don't get why the ants are so angry there. Okay. I don't get it. I got bites all over me <laughs> from, from meditating in the grass, y'all, for grounded by energy. When I was there, I was like, listen, and then the, and then the moscatos, the mosquitoes on the West Coast. Okay, see, the ants are friendly in California, but they ain't friendly in Texas. Quite frankly, the bugs in Texas, they be scaring me, but they love me. They love my blood, period. These bugs be loving me. So, anywho, that's a side note. So, what I'm seeing... <laughs> y'all with the four of cups in reverse somebody wants you to bring that bring that ass bring that ass bring that ass back that's what they want now they thinking about this twin flame reunion with the four of wands but this four of wands card is dark here so it's like what is this was somebody somebody was sleeping with the damn enemy for some of you your person you know if they not with one main karmic they were dealing with there's somebody else they were sleeping with and this person is dark has dark energy okay very dark energy yeah somebody trying to get out of a home situation or somebody damn y'all somebody kicked somebody out is what i'm seeing or somebody here they had to move or somebody was just fed up somebody was fed up your spiritual team was like listen this person y'all somebody could have tried to sacrifice y'all and your spiritual team whooping they ass what is this Man, I don't know why people won't just leave y'all alone because y'all star energy. It's like nothing is going, not, nothing is easy for you guys. You've been through a lot, okay? And you're still smiling and you're still loving and you're still engaging. But what I'm seeing here is like somebody here was just like, man, I am so tired of 
this marriage or I'm so tired of this relationship. You know, one of the key indicators of whether or not you need to stay in a connection or not is whether or not there's growth and expansion. Does that make sense? Because if it's just toxic every single day and someone is committed to misunderstanding you and someone automatically thinks they know better than you, like if you or or the opposite of that, maybe you continuously continuously have conversations with people and it's always you encouraging them, but then who's around to encourage you? That's a sign that, you know, you're you're elevating past who it is you're spending time with. Does that make sense? And that's not for you guys, that's not an arrogant saying, but it's just saying it does say be ye not unequally yoked. And I feel like, you know, somebody here is not on your level. Okay, someone wanted to be in karmic energy, so y'all took your fine ass, okay? Is she got an itty bitty, but it's okay. You know, and you moved on. That's what I'm seeing here. So somebody, somebody here could be moving on from a marriage or moving out of a home, okay? I feel like there's a lot of people watching y'all. You need to be careful with who you're around is what I'm seeing, okay? Because there's some weird energies that have an eye on you, okay? Especially when they know that, you know, you there's something different about you and they trying to figure you out. It's not their job to figure you out. Like, what is this? <laughs> with the nine of wands here and the king of coins reverse, yeah, I feel like you guys were guarded because you were the king of pentacles reverse. I don't know why I said the king of wands reverse. So maybe this person was promiscuous as well, or they were doing some type of dark energy work. But the king of pentacles reversed or the queen of pentacles reversed is somebody that's a gold digger. It's somebody that's money hungry. It's somebody that, you know, they going to go where the money lies. Okay. Or they going to go where they feel if somebody is fly. If they the king of wands or queen of wands reverse, somebody is partnered, was partnered together with somebody that was draining them financially or they were draining that person financially. Take it how it resonates. All I'm seeing here is that someone is realizing that someone was with them for the wrong intentions, period. Okay. And so now they trying to run the hell, <laughs> they trying to run away from that situation. Okay. And they want to come towards you. That's what I'm seeing here. They want to come towards you because they're realizing that, you know, maybe you did have codependency issues in the past. You know, nobody is perfect, but you're stepping into your power. You know your worth and, you know, you're focused on your abundance. You're focused on your creativity. Okay. I see that someone here definitely has shamanic vibes. Maybe animals love you, but shit, maybe insects love you. You know what I'm saying? Like myself, I don't know. But what I'm seeing here is that you guys have been working very hard and you're working hard for everything that you have, whereas somebody else went towards somebody that's just draining them, whether it's emotionally, financially, you just take spiritually, you take it how it resonates. Okay. Somebody is, is done with a karmic third party situation or the karmic third party is done with them because this person we already seen in a previous reading knows they don't love them. Period. With the eight of cups, somebody is walking away from another connection or someone is walking away from a living environment or somebody is walking away because they know the truth. With the eight of wands, I see this is travel. Somebody could be walking away from a situation and walking towards you to communicate. Okay. I feel like you guys are walking away from it. This could even be you walked away from a job and then you're going towards another job. Okay. This is, this is about, you know, you guys realizing your two of cups is elsewhere or your person realizing this. That's what I'm seeing here with the two of wands reverse. You know, if anybody was trying to do any type of negative energy work towards you, that shit has backfired. And I feel like somebody wasn't taking the proper actions towards you. So you decided to disengage. Okay, and now that person with the three of cups in reverse, most likely the, the, the karmic you know about, they not even fucking with no more. They definitely ain't sleeping with them with the three, uh, three of cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody is sitting here worried that you don't want to reconcile with them because they chose the wrong path. They chose the wrong uh, people to be associated with that were doing corrupt things for some of you. Or they, they just literally chose to ghost you. It's like somebody here is so worried about what they're going to say when they come back to you that they can't even sleep at night. Somebody need to get some cajones. You know what I'm saying? Someone drop ship some cajones to somebody. <laughs> okay. 
Somebody needs some balls, y'all. With the justice card here, somebody could definitely be getting a divorce from somebody else, okay? And what I see here, damn, what do we got here? We got the justice card in another deck. The seven of swords. I can't show that queen of wands. They so out of pocket. <laughs> the queen of wands, the king of wands, and the eight of pentacles. Let's get into this thing here. So the justice card can talk about the legal system. It could talk about the courts. Okay. Normally it shows up someone wanting to make a, amends. Okay. After something that they've done wrong. Okay. Or it can talk about a law official with the seven of swords. Okay. This could very well be an undercover. Okay. Because she is in disguise. Okay. Or this very well could be the fact that somebody is receiving justice for some type of lies, deceit, deception, or avoidance that they were doing. Okay. Now with the queen and the king of wands here, that is a couple and the eight of pentacles. So this could have very well been some type of karmic couple. Some of y'all, this could have been relatives. Okay. This could have been, <laughs> this could have been cousins y'all. This could have been an aunt and an uncle. Okay. This could have been brothers. I feel like, or, or for some of you, maybe it was your ex or your person's karmic and their karma. You just take it how it resonates. But there's a karmic couple here that was being deceptive, okay? They were being deceptive. They were doing something against you, okay? And they could have been receiving some type of money for it. Or they just put in work to try to do something deceptive towards you. And they're, some of you, it looks like they go into jail. Okay, for others of you, what I'm seeing here is that they're going to uh, spiritual jail as well, okay? So let's say somebody was trying to, you know, impersonate you and get money off of your name or do some weird shit like that, okay? Then that is something they're going to have to pay back, period, okay? That's them being caught or if they were doing that to somebody else, okay? <sighs> With the Hierophant here, okay? The five, the five of cups. He'd be looking so miserable in this car. I told you somebody is miserable. They were miserable in another relationship. They were miserable in a marriage or they were miserable because they realized whoever they were connected with was uh, fronting like they were, uh, you know, a, um, a, a match made in heaven or of God. And they really of the dang devil is what I'm seeing here. So somebody here is realizing that they made the wrong choice. Okay, for, they want reconciliation. A karmic third party is pissed off about it. Okay, and I feel like you really don't know about this with the two of swords here. Okay, but I do feel like somebody has not been talking with you because they couldn't make a decision. For some of you, this person here, you know, they were listening to people around them or they just were people pleasing or they just didn't have enough information to make a decision Okay, but with judgment here, it's like they know for a fact that they want to be with you and they have a lot of remorse, okay, for either working together in a group, being a part of a secret society, okay, or not taking, if you are married, maybe not taking your marriage serious and being faithful, okay. I feel like somebody's not fulfilled with whoever they've been spending time with. That's what I'm seeing here. And it's like, it don't matter how, how many flips and tricks somebody does, you know what I'm saying, to try to make this person happy. They never are. It says, if I can't have you, no one can. I know I need mental health. Yeah, somebody knows it. Somebody's been transferring money overseas. Okay. There's somebody else that's gay for pay, or they were. It says, lying and saying he's with a friend to the karmic, and he's been having sex. So, yeah, somebody has definitely been cheating. Okay. Or maybe they were lying to you and really that's what they was doing with a karmic. I don't know. Okay. And then we have here, I wasn't there for you. I hate myself for that. Yeah. So somebody here realizes the injustices that they did towards you. Okay. Somebody, y'all, there's a police chase. Okay. Somebody done did something they shouldn't have did. Someone's been sleeping with an undercover. Okay. Maybe somebody that has addictions. It says it's hard quitting these addictions. And you know what? It is hard to quit addictions. But when you value your life and you value the uh, the lives of those around you that love you and depend on you, trust me, you'll get yourself into rehab unless you just, you know, it, it just, it depends on a person. Nobody can make a person quit addictions. They have to want to, they have to want to get help, right? Kid you not, man. For some of you, a karmic tried everything to make this person happy and they never, they never are. 
you know, if a person is not happy within, if they're not loving themselves, how are they going to love you? Somebody lives on a court. Okay. Somebody is lovesick over you. I'm trying to tell you, they, they regret walking away. For some of you, somebody could have been trying to rob you. Okay. And, and they're found out. Or they could have been doing other robberies and they asked was caught on camera. I'm trying to, who are these people? They keep getting caught cheating. It's like, damn, how many times, you know, somebody really needs, okay, they need a bolt on their zipper. Like they need to just stop already. Yeah, somebody is planning to offer you love, okay? But somebody also has a sexually transmitted disease or infection. So y'all better be careful who you reconnecting with. Don't just be jumping up in bed with nobody. We have trust responsibilities, taking the weight of your choices and feelings and spending the rest of your life living up to them. And above all, not hurting the object of your love. It's like somebody loved you but didn't want to put the work in. This is from Meet Joe Black. So I feel like what's happening here is like somebody loves you, but they ended up hurting you. So they didn't take care of what the blessing, which is you, that God gave them. And now they in their feelings, looking like this guy right here, okay? Or it could be a girl. Take it how it resonates. Somebody is abusive, okay? Someone's physically abusing a karmic that they're connecting with. It's like someone has a main karmic they've been dealing with, and they got a string of other people that they have been connecting with. Somebody here has some really dark energy. Somebody does need some help, okay? Because I'm not even going to share the crazy images that I'm seeing um, of, of what this person does. Okay, to people. Anywho, yeah, somebody could be at their parents' house. Maybe you're at your parents' house. Somebody is paranoid. Okay, someone moved out of somewhere else. Someone could be moved in. For some of y'all, I keep trying to tell you, people keep targeting you for your spiritual rank. A lot of times, it's these people in these damn cults, covens, secret societies, masons, Illuminati. You know, they feel like uh, you're going to work together with them and they're going to harvest your energy and you just going to be on their payroll like so many other people. That's a no. Okay? Period. Don't ever sell your souls. I don't give a damn what they offer you. Damn, we got the karmic is also getting arrested. Yeah, there was a straight karmic. Uh, someone chose a karmic path with a karmic and they did a bunch of illegal shit and they both getting arrested. Okay? And it says, God has given you back everything they stole and more. Yeah, these people were thieves. If it wasn't, inter if it wasn't um, energetic theft, it was actual, like, for instance, if you had a platform, they could have been acting as you and getting money from people. You know, like those scammers? And you think you follow in one person and it's really not that person. They reach out to you like, oh, I was sensing your energy. And, oh, you know, I'm doing this and this. Hell no. Nah. Okay. There is no reader that is walking in an equilibrium that I know of that's going to be reaching out to you doing that. You got to make sure who you spending money towards, okay? If they're seeking you out trying to get money from you, that has scam central all over it. And I don't know why I'm picking that up, but I really feel like somebody here was doing some shady ass shit with a karmic, okay? It could have been insurance fraud, okay? This has money laundry written all over it. Okay, something involving a signature, some type of forgery here. Okay, something about false mortgage papers. What is going down, y'all? Yeah, it says karma is kicking my ass right now. Somebody getting that ass kicked. Because I'm trying to tell you the divine does not play about you. Period. This is how the divine is showing up in the rooms of those that have been working against you. Okay, I mean, it's serious. Very serious. Yeah, I feel like someone could want a karmic to whip your ass. I don't know why, but they must be ready to be up in the dirt with you, feel me? Because you ain't going to go without a motherfucking bang, you <laughs> right? You know, I got a lot of Aries in my chart. We crazy. We go there. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, let me call them the crazy. STD. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. Somebody been sleeping with, oh my God. Why can't these people just listen? Okay, if somebody does not have any, any control over their sexual regions, don't sit there and think that that person is the person you're supposed to spiritually ascend with. Okay, because if somebody is, is recklessly just having sex with multiple different energies or doing something strange for some change, they're picking up dark entities. They're not valuing 
themselves as a divine being. There is no growth and expansion there. That is karmic energy. So don't just lay down with somebody because you feel like you love them. No, you don't need that type of, you don't need that in your life. Okay, because some STDs you can't get, some STIs you can't get rid of. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody wondering what the hell you doing. They're heartbroken that you're done with their ass. And then we got a scammer couple's husband. <laughs> I feel like that's part of that king and queen of wands over there. That's given like a poly relationship where they both just, you know, stepping out and doing the, the utmost. Yeah, uh-uh. That's a no. So I'm about to wrap this up here. What's with this three of cups? Three of cups, knight of pentacles. <sighs> Magician. And the eight of swords. Yeah. Somebody, I'm trying to tell you somebody was manipulative. They were doing something shady with somebody else for work. Because this is the sixth house right here. Okay, and they're worried about going to jail or they're going to jail and it's something they were doing with either friends, co-workers, or a third party. And I feel like y'all just looking beautiful, mining to your money. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, but I feel like someone does want to get single. They do want to offer you love here. This deck is just so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, someone has a lot of love for you here. This is the King of Cups and the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody definitely wants to offer you love. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, I feel like someone's having dream downloads about you. Damn, the tower. Ooh, child and the ten of swords, baby. Somebody could have been in an accident or gotten in an accident, a transportation accident. Y'all, somebody could pass away. Somebody needs to be careful, okay? Be careful when you're traveling. Yeah, knight of wands while somebody is traveling under the influence with the seven of cups here. The high priestess, maybe you know, maybe you know this. Maybe you have warned somebody. Okay, for some of you, I hope that's not their karma. People need to stop playing. Okay, I feel like somebody here needs to be careful while they're traveling, period. That's what I'm seeing here. Anyways, I mean, y'all showing up as the high priest or the high priestess. I'm pretty much just confirming things that you already know at this point and giving you additional tea. <laughs> okay because baby and i do also see this as yes yeah, somebody catching something while they was creeping okay <laughs> look at them hands creeping from underneath the bed okay you better not take that person back and have sex with them not knowing what the hell they've been doing or who they've been doing it with okay that's all i gotta say so i don't know what to say put me some stars down below because this, this reading just went all over the place with the channel messages put some stars down below put some crowns down below put some cups down below because i do see wow yeah that's what i got for you guys love you guys namaste